case. And first card is justice, and you might be dealing with some kind of legal situation at the moment. Uh, there's the power card over here, so you're dealing with somebody that's very, very powerful, probably. Um, and you know, you're going to have to uh, use a, a lot of your insights or a lot of your personal strength to actually sort this problem. Uh, whatever this case is, uh, you know, it's it's causing a big impact in your life whatever legal issue you're dealing with. And you're needing to do a lot of research in order to actually sort out this problem. So you need to go in over there and ask maybe for some expert advice or somebody who knows a lot more about the situation. You might actually need to do some research yourself. So in the past, you've got the gain card, so you're moving pretty quickly to the future, or things were happening pretty quickly for you, moving away from a very difficult situation. But it seems like there's this brown-haired woman that has halted your progress. She's got a hand up over there and trying to stop you. So somebody presenting a brown-haired woman, presenting a big obstacle in your life that is causing you to have a lot of delays and problems. Maybe she's the one that has caused this legal issue to come up as well. Now you're going through a lot of self-doubt at the moment. There's a lot of problems, so you're trying to try and find the solution, but you know you don't even have that much of confidence in yourself. So you are having a lot of uh, difficulty trying to make up your mind about what to do. And you're dealing with people around you that are very, very jealous, that are not giving you proper advice. They appear to be, you know, uh, be your friend because they're wearing masks, but really they're saying some really nasty things behind your back. So really be careful of these people that you are dealing with at present during this week. So you're dealing with some kind of legal situation and you're trying to come to a solution, but they're having problems. Don't trust people with sensitive information, so make sure you're keeping your secrets to yourself because these people are acting out of jealousy rather than in your best interests. So that's the energies for that week. So the main energies of the card uh, is the strength card and it looks like you are you know, trying to deal with a very, very difficult situation. Maybe a lot of people are saying things uh, and you know, you're trying to sort it out. You're trying to get the truth to come out as well. Uh, there has been a, uh, there's a cup on the ground over here spilled cup so you're very very upset about what thing what has happened uh this car uh, this cup has got blood in it so something that you know that was said or whatever happened is you know really um struck you really deeply so you're very 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 upset about it the rod um the uh, wand is also on the ground over here which says that it's even halted your being able to manifest things so everything in your life is at a bit of a standstill you can't get any work done and it seems like nothing seems to be working out especially with this rod on the ground you've got the sword in your hand over here so you're trying to sort this problem out as best you can you're trying to tell people what your truth is but it's a very very difficult situation and nobody seems to be listening to you there's you know the, the surrounding car um, um environment is so bleak over here so you know you are you are really struggling in this particular situation so you are dealing with a very very difficult um problem at the moment and you are really trying very very hard it's taking all your strength to actually cope with it so what's happening with you you've got the seven of um cups over here and you've got um, the queen of cups over here so you can see you've been trying to make some kind of choices uh, make some kind of decisions about how to proceed forward you are looking to the future but you, you know very very unhappily it seems like whatever uh, you know uh, choices they are or whatever options have come are not things that you want these are not um, options that you are uh, you know ready to accept you don't really want to do these you're not happy with them you've actually got your back turned to them and you're trying to make a new start but um you know it doesn't seem like any, anything is there to help you these options are not helpful op options they are things that you know you, you don't find appealing to you um and it's making you quite upset you've got the queen of cups over here uh, you can see she's even trying to um you know maybe you're trying to make an offer to somebody maybe you're trying to do something maybe you're trying to even make an apology to somebody uh, that could be the case but the queen of cups is generally um, a queen that's really emotional and she gets very depressed about things very quickly so it's upsetting you that you know you can't decide or you can't you, you're not being given that proper option to move forward whatever is being presented is something that you're not very very happy about you want your ace of cups that means you want a new beginning but it's not being presented to you at this particular moment so what's happened in the past you've got the four of rods over here so um you know you have been um trying um you know to have a bit of a stable life um there's been a lot of information you've had a lot of people come in and out of your life in the last year um and you've been trying to uh you know come out of this particular problem walk towards that future of you know where you're stable uh where you're your own person um with the four of rods it's generally uh, you know a card of, of 
of celebration of victory. It seems like you have been trying to get that stability, to, uh, trying to get that, that peace uh, that you've been searching for. You've been trying to put down roots, you've been trying to be productive in the last year. Um, and what's been going on in the last few months, you've got the King of uh, Rods over here, so you might have been... Um, there might be somebody um, around you. Uh, the King of Rods is generally a very powerful person who, uh, you know, you've been looking or seeking for some kind of help or support from. Um, this person might be giving you some options. He's got two rods in his hands. It's almost like he's saying, make a decision about what you want to do next. So you might be taking advice from this person and they might be trying to get you to do something. Maybe there's some project that you're being offered or, or you have the option of two projects, really, something to do. Uh, and uh, this person is advising you on which one to actually choose. So this person is, it, it looks like it's somebody, it's, it's usually, um, the rods cards usually indicates somebody in your work life and you're being given two options and you may try and maybe he's asking you to make a choice as to which one you want to do um and you know looking to the future it's like whatever choice you make is going to be have a lot of impact um this choice seems to have come in in the last um a few months now you've got the hierophant on your mind over here on your head so you're thinking about you know research uh you're trying to get some advice uh some you want some kind of input as to how to make your choice so you are asking you are searching or you are doing some research as to finding out uh, what to do next so you're trying to get yourself um you know fully informed and make an informed decision as what what to do next you could also be you know seeking some kind of spiritual advice um as well with the hierophant card uh you could be seeking uh, advice about money as well uh because the hierophant is, is a card ruled by taurus and that also tends to rule personal um finances as, as well but whatever it is you are trying to seek some expert advice and get that information in order for you to to move forward so you are doing your research now um you've got the moon card over here and this woman is looking to the future so you are very very confused about what to do next she's got the wand in her hand so she does she she knows she has to do something but she's not really sure on how to proceed and you're really trying to make this decision all on your own the full moon in the back over there you're pretty much confused as to what to do and uh, this winter scene showing that you know you you perceive that uh everything around you is not going your way and nothing seems to be working out at this particular moment so you're pretty confused you might be having a lot of vivid dreams nightmares not sleeping well uh you know um a little bit of depression going on over there as well and with this queen of cups it co could be that you know all of this decision uh, trying to make this um this um trying to make a plan trying to uh, to um find an option for the future is causing that depression because the queen of cups is also somebody who gets pretty emotional um and pretty depressed it is a card that is ruled by cancer so it's something that is you know really affecting you quite a bit now what's uh, going on with you uh, you want the wheel of fortune or you're trying to make a change in your life so that things uh, start moving forward and you also believe that you um have ended a cycle so whatever has gone in, on in your life this is now the end of that particular cycle and you want to move forward so really you've you've closed the door on um the past and all this all these cards are indicating that you're trying to step into the future and trying to make the decision to move into the future you know that you your um your luck has changed or it's changing at this particular moment but you're trying to make that decision on how to proceed forward you've got the eight of rods over here so uh, this is you know you want things to come and and um move uh quickly um it looks like this man is trying to manifest and this is probably what you are trying to do you are trying to do things to make things happen you're trying to communicate your ideas the rods uh, cards usually indicates communication things moving up moving quickly but it looks like you've got the hand in it so you're trying to push things and make things go as quickly as possible you are looking to the past so you're looking at, um you're trying to get people from your past to try and help you sort this particular problem and trying to move it forward um you're trying to almost um you know push them into action to help you because you know maybe you're tired of waiting for things to happen you're trying to to make it happen yourself and even with this uh, wheel of fortune card uh, denoting you it, it shows you know you can see this man trying to make that wheel turn himself and here this uh, man is almost trying to be a magician to make the past change so that he can move forward and you're working with new information here so you've got some enlightenment coming over here you've looked to the past you've taken the lessons from the past and now you're trying to make everything that you've learned from the past work for you in the future 
So what's going on with you? You um, uh, what you want? You want a really good, steady job with this three of um, pentacles over here. You can see a lot of learning. Maybe you're planning to get back into work over here, and you know you can see this man stirring the pot. He's got all this recipes over here so you're trying to use a lot of information that you've learned whatever tools you have whatever skills you have in the past you're trying to apply it and you're trying to make um you know you, you want a job to come in where you can use all your past skills in order for you to uh um you know get back into work or to make that job productive you're also working on a bit of a time limit of you you feel that time is is running out um, for you to actually uh, get things going. So you're a bit worried that you won't be able to get this job and you won't be able to get that work that you want. So going to the future, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Cups over here. So with the Seven of Pentacles, it's showing that you are trying to accumulate uh, you know, resources. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's trying to invest in the future. So you are trying to gather everything that you have. You are using a lot of your psychic abilities to do it. But as far as your money goes, you are trying to get all your... Um, maybe you're doing a review of your finances to see how much you have left. You have looked at your bank accounts. You have looked at your money to see uh, if you've got a sufficient nest egg for you to you know, be able to proceed forward. But whatever the case is, you are trying to gather all your resources, gather all your, uh, your wealth together, trying to make sure that you have got your finances. So you're trying to review your finances and get on top of them. And you're trying, uh, hoping that whatever you have, you'll be able to uh, grow it um, so that you have something that pays off in the future. Maybe you're worried about um, retirement funds, uh, whether you will have sufficient money left, uh, you know, if you don't, if you lose your job. So you are worried about finances quite a bit over here with the seven of um, um, pentacles. And you've got the five of um, cups over here, so you are thinking a lot about the past. You can see this child is really he looks really upset and sad. Maybe you've done a lot of work. Maybe you are thinking of going back. Maybe you haven't finished a course or finished studying and you're thinking about going back and doing it. Uh, starting afresh, uh, completing that particular bit of study that you haven't finished. And it looks like you are going to be doing that with this Eight um, of Cups over here. So in order for you to move forward into the future, so here you are, uh, you know, mourning the past almost, and um, you know you're regretting what you haven't finished. And it looks like you're going to be taking that um, that step forward, and you're going to be doing study, and and this is the thing that's going to allow you to move away from your uh, your past situation. So you know, generally with this Eight of Cups, you see people walking into the future, but it looks like you realize that study or further education is going to be the thing that liberates you from the situation. It looks like here with the Five of Cups, you, you're coming to that realization. <coughs> Excuse me. And with the Eight of Cups over here, you finally um, make that decision that you're going to do some further studying or something further uh, down the education front. And that is how you're going to be able to move away uh, from the situation. Uh, so you are doing a lot of research, trying to find out um, information on how to get forward and do this kind of course. So it looks like you want to go down that uh, study route as well. So maybe this is the reason why you're trying to gather your finances with the Seven of Pentacles um, and um, you see you're using a lot of intuition. The cat's also even looking to the past. So, you know, you are trying to use whatever you learn from the past. The cat's looking to the for uh, future, so you're trying to um, apply it so that you know if you, um, you know, use whatever lessons you learned from the past and move to the future, you will be able to make things happen. And it seems like, you know, with this five of cups where you're grieving or, or regretting the things that you didn't do, you finally make that decision with the eight of cups that you're going to study and move forward in that kind of way. So you will finally make a decision as to what you want to do. All these options that you're uh, going through at the moment is just getting you back on track as to what you want to do for the future. Um, it seems like you are going to make that decision and maybe you realize that if you do anything further or improve skill sets or improve your education, uh, that is the way that you're going to liberate yourself from the situation. The first card you've got there is Crossroads. You're at a crossroads in your life. The choices you make now must be practical, not emotional. You're not a dead. You're not at a dead end. You are free to choose the direction uh, that you want to go. So plan. So this man, um, this particular King of Rods, has presented you with an option about what you want to do. It is a crossroads that you're facing that he's presenting, and it seems like with this cards. Uh, you are at a crossroads. It says you need to make a decision. You haven't reached the end of the road, but you have a choice as to what you've got to do, and you've got to make practical plans in order to move forward. The second card is entra entrapment, and it says you may feel trapped by a person, career, money, or children. You may also feel that things are 
are closing in around you this will end within nine months planning is needed so again uh, you know if you are feeling trapped or you are feeling like you're not going anywhere uh, you can see this poor wolf's got a little uh, something holding his paw here a trap uh, this will all end, but you need to be very practical as you plan for the future. And uh, the last card is um, Turbulence. It is not the time to make any uh, career changes, large purchases or move. Severe turbulence indicates for the next uh, eight days, make good choices and wait out the storm. So if you can go through any kind of problems with the next few days or the next week, just wait it out. It's going to, uh, it will settle. Don't make anything big. So if you're going into the run up to Christmas, try not to overspend money. Whatever problems you have at work will blow over. And um, you know, don't make any big decisions at this particular moment. This card is saying that there's a period where things are going to be a bit unsettled, but that will actually, uh, you know, you need to wait out that storm. That will soon settle. This, that energy is temporary. So in the long run, you do have some kind of choice to make, and you need to make it. Uh, you know, do some planning, do some research. You are trying to do that. Uh, it looks like, you know, with the Hierophant card, it's research. But it also could be that you want to get into a teacher role or you want to be a student. So that's also about learning that Hierophant. It's about institutions as well, you know, universities, banks, that kind of thing. So uh, maybe what's in your mind is going back into studying or going back into learning and you are trying to make that decision and it is uh you know you're a bit confused about what to do but you know that confusion will clear up if you are very practical in what you do and it seems like you know you are planning on going back into studying maybe next year so whatever problem you have um, that you're going with whatever decision you have to make uh, make sure that you are taking the lead and you are acting uh you know uh, thinking very clearly um, you know, don't be very aggressive about the whole thing. Um, it's a it's a time for you to use your strength of character, and it's going to be you that turns this wheel of fortune. So you are in that process of trying to manifest it yourself. So you are whatever advice is uh, whatever is going on, you are trying to make things move yourself. You are not waiting for anybody to do it for you. So like I said, in the next few days, if things are a bit um, choppy or things are a bit um, unsettled, just wait it out. The storm will soon pass and uh, things will start moving around you. But make sure that you are thinking about making proper practical plans for the future.